um, on the oath. This is a public service. Uh, thank you for hearing me. Um, my name is Foshin. Uh, I'm an independent journalist that came here today uh, prepared to speak about uh, your police department and its treatment of the homeless and our veterans. Uh, after what happened to me on Friday morning at the police department, I have to give a very different speech. I've been trying to make an appointment with Chief Umberger since November to review an unlawful trespass at Social Security. Luis Vasquez, an officer who handles internal affairs complaints, reached out to me. I was led to believe to set up this meeting with the chief. Yet this was never his intention to meet. This was never his intention. The meeting was a ruse in collusion with Federal Protective Services to have me appear only to issue me six citations meant to chill, issued directly to violate my First Amendment rights. Did it ever occur to you to simply be honest? I would have shown up to accept the citations, but instead you act in bad faith. Chief Umberger, Lieutenant Milan, Sergeant Salmon, and Louis Vasquez acted to further undermine the public's trust in the police. They acted in a way meant to further erode the relationship between the people and law enforcement. I'm here tonight to tell you all what your oath of office is not. It is not some document that you signed when you started a new job. It is not some job requirement. It is your first and foremost duty. It's not about doing what is easy, but about doing what is right. It's not pointing to another branch of government or public official. It is actively defending the Constitution and the rights it protects. It's not relying on an attorney to advise you, but reading and following the Constitution yourself. It's not allegiance to party leadership or campaign donors. It's not about what is politically popular and following the Constitution is not political in nature. It's not what varying judges and justices have interpreted throughout the years, but upholding the actual words of the Constitution itself. It's not continuing to do something just because it's always been done that way. It's not playing it safe because you're afraid to make political waves, but having the courage to stand up and defend the freedoms countless men and women have died to protect. It's not glancing at the Constitution once a year, but reading it for yourself regularly, as you can't abide by your oath to defend the Constitution if you don't know what it actually says. It's not giving up when it's confusing or complicated, but continuing to use critical thinking skills and remembering above all else that government's main purpose is to protect our God-given liberties. It's not saying that I'm just following orders, but doing everything in your power to stop anyone violating the Constitution. It is not a burden, but a great honor. It is not suggestive, but a mandatory and integral part of working in government. It is not new as you've already taken the oath by simply registering to vote here in Florida. It's not some old irrelevant document, but the framework for all of your actions and decisions while serving in government. And your constitutional oath does not allow you to compromise any of our protected liberties. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're out here today to ensure our constitutional rights are respected by those that swore an oath to support, protect, and defend the rights of the people. The purpose of all interactions is to peacefully promote government accountability and transparency. This is a public service.